Hey everyone, Bri here of Bri's Creations, excited to show you one of my latest builds. It utilizes a building technique that I've discovered that I'm calling basement spaces that will allow you to do some remarkable things. So I created this new build for Newcrest, the new world. Um, everybody seems to be building something for Newcrest, so I figured I may as well join in. The home is called Funky One. It's one level, one bedroom, one bathroom, hence the name. Um, you'll notice some objects here that you may not recognize. That is not custom content. Um, these are objects that I have positioned in, um, by using the basement spaces that I'll get more into later. Just want to show you a little bit of the exterior of the home here, the side view of the patio, kitchen area, little bar, some stepping stones out and in the back a custom planner. Now when I say custom, again it's not custom content, I'm just calling it custom because I put it together in a specific way and there's another one along the side. Um, so basement spaces are really versatile, there's a lot you can do. Um, taking a bit of a closer look, that particular plant was from Get to Work and you'll just notice that it's lower to the ground than it would be if you just placed it there. That is an enlarged desk co combined with a table and then these stepping stones are actually the tops of bar stools. Now a really cool thing about them, well I'll get back to it, there's a sculpture um, and those are actually little fountains um, made to look like planners. This thing, I forget what it was exactly, but I thought it looked cool there, um, especially in conjunction uh, with this grill. You'll see the lines kind of correspond and it, to me it looked like they could be one unit. I've also got a full kitchen out here, the dining table that you saw. Um, and that bar area. So what I was going to say about those stepping stones is they're completely routable. Sims can walk right over the top of them. And this is true of anything that we position with basement spaces. But again, I'll get into that more. Right now we're going into the interior. Didn't really use the basement spaces so much. Just your typical moo. Um, except for that little plant up there. I did use basement spaces to get that little guy up. I was going for a modern, playful interior. A little bit of tech. Um, it's got a bit of everything in terms of your living space and over here I wanted to set up an area for crafters um, and also potentially an artist and also of course a bit more tech since this was one of my inspirations for the house. Um, there is a small half bathroom. It may be short on space but I hope it's not short on style. Playing with Moo a little bit in here, nothing too crazy. Just a fun little space. Now this bedroom that we're going to come into, I am pretty happy with how this turned out, uh, both in terms of the color scheme, I really like that black and dark blue, and also it's an odd shaped space so I got to play with some elements that um, I think make it kind of look pretty neat. The mirrors, uh, mirror effect doubling that painting and the bookshelves, um, and I showed you what I did on the ceiling up there with the shelves. Coming on out of the house, um, just to give you a, a layout of the overall home, um, it's not a 20 by 15 lot, so it's not too big. So um, let's drop down into the basement so I can show you the actual basement space that was used and all of the objects down there that go into making the unique looks up uh, there. I turned grid lights on so you can see where they're actually positioned, that many of them have been elevated in height. Those walls that I placed are just good guidelines um, for positioning the objects. Um, you can kind of tell where the wall stops at the top, that that's where your object is going to start poking through the ground, and there they are. Um, so this was Funky One. If you're interested, it can be downloaded on the gallery. You can search for my hashtag Bryce Creations. Thanks for watching.